Merry Gibbs Gibbs. Merry Gibbs Gibbs. Uh, brother, that's my slipper. Merry Christmas, Mesh. Merry Christmas, Pops. Merry Christmas, little chickadee. Okay. Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Mesh. I wanna know something funny this year. Mum goes, I am not doing stockings. They're too hard. Da, da, da. I love stockings, not lingerie. Oh. Get your head out of the gutter. And look at this, lo and behold, nice full stocking. Yeah. So she's a little bit of a liar. I couldn't sleep again last night. Woke up at half five, quarter past six. Because I'm excited for Christmas. I'm like a child still. <laughs> wow. You're a little stunner. Mesh, open yours. Oh yeah! He's got Michael mince pie. Oh, what have you got, Bugs? Festive roll. Merry fucking Christmas! Oh my god, I woke up at 5 a.m. and then 6 a.m. and then I had a nosebleed in bed. I literally was doing my Millie Bobby Brown cosplay at 6 in this morning. Sorry, what? Sorry, what? I feel like I've been seeing everyone's Christmas day routines and, you know, who opens presents in the morning. Who the fuck waits? You've already waited the past bloody advent. I don't know how people do it, you know? Got up, got my grubby little paws. I was ripping open that wrapping paper. But I've opened presents from my mum and my dad and my brothers and some family friends, but we're going to go see my nan who lives across the road soon. And then this afternoon, after I've eaten, so like this evening really, lol, I'm going to Mikey's house, spend Christmas with his family as well, give him his presents, oh my fucking god I'm so excited. I love giving gifts, my mum was like, you only like Christmas because of presents, I was like, yeah, giving them. I'm a, such a good gift giver. And that cannot be denied. <laughs> I'm ever so excited. <sighs> right now my mum's walking the dog, so I need to start editing the vlog from Christmas Eve, lol because um i need to do that but yeah bloody merry christmas i'll show you what i got later maybe i don't want to seem like an asshole, like i'm bragging but if pete you know when people are like um just a quick disclaimer i'm not trying to show off or brag um literally if people are deciding to take it that way let them obviously there are people who do show off and are like oh my god i've seen so many tiktoks that are like oh my god i didn't get everything i wanted but i'm still grateful or little christmas haul and they've got like your airpods a macbook and it's just like just stop being a knobhead but you know, I actually, I just, I just want to show you what I got because I have great taste. So I've asked for some absolute bangerangs. But yeah, what can I say apart from Merry Bloody Christmas? Matching. They're not the same colours, they're not matching. I got perhaps some crack slides. Oh yeah! It's so yeah, hot in there. It's like a sauna. It's like a sauna. <laughs> <That's what I'm laughs> so weird. <laughs> And Nana doesn't even realise. Like, like, I'm I'm sweating buckets. Oh. Will you work on your eyes? Oh, no, <laughs> I couldn't see any. She didn't see any. Well, well, no, no. <laughs> Just had a shower because I smelled so bad. I don't know if I smell any better now. Well, I've used soap. Like, I have washed, but you never can tell. You know, in the minion. I'm going to put some makeup on because I look absolutely like a dog's dinner. I look awful. I'm going to get ready now because it's just an absolute eyesore. But I'm having a bloody good Christmas so far. I do love Christmas. Oh my god, I've only got one slipper. Mash has got the other one. Okay, flamingo. I've got to look bald. This is what I'd look like bald. Okay, wow. That's a little bit scary. <laughs> I'm ready and I'm wearing my wrap top. About to go and demolish a Christmas dinner. Up the boys. It's grand. Oh, wow. You are slaying them hats. Okay. Give boy. I did my makeup, ate dinner, and then I took it all off and redid it. I was so busy hating on Paige McCullers watching Pretty Little Liars that I did my makeup really badly the first time and it just looked absolutely god awful. So, done it again. My mum is asleep. <laughs> my brothers are playing really loud, annoying car games on the computer. They are 26 and 24. Um, and it, it wouldn't be as bad, but you can hear the computer going, mm, 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 and I'm like, <laughs> it's driving me a little bit insane um and i'm gonna edit my vlog 
and watch Pretty Little Liars until I have to go to Mikey's, which is in a couple of hours. So yeah. Sleigh, sleigh bells ring. Oh yeah, listen, this is the most girly I've ever looked, apart from when I was young and didn't have control over what I wore. Like, I literally couldn't dress myself. As soon as I could start dressing myself, <laughs> downhill. Mm. Hey! I've changed because I'm playing games at Mikey's house with his family and I just thought sitting in tights and a, and a dress. It's not on brand for me, so um, I've changed into some like cargo trousers and a jumper that I got Michael for Christmas. <laughs> oh yeah, seems about right. Wear his stuff back to his house, which was his Christmas present. I'm running late because I thought that I was gonna go at six and then Michael was like, oh, you can come anytime now. And I'm, I was still editing my vlog, but I've edited it and I'm uploading it now. So hey. Um, where the fuck are all my socks gone? Oh, there's a pair. So yeah, I'm gonna get ready to go now. I'm gonna brush my teeth and then hit the road. I'm so warm in here. I don't know how high my radiator's on, but I feel like it might be a little bit, a little bit too high. It's very warm. Oh my God, it's on the max. Anyway, let's go. Woo! Hey! 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 Okay, I'm home now. Last night I went to Mikey's to play Okay, <laughs> I'm home now. Last night I went to Mikey's to play games with him and his family, which was hashtag lovely. So now it's boxing day. Today we're having family round to play games, so I don't want to play any more games. I'm all gamed up. But someone, oh my god, when I used to do YouTube videos when I was younger, I would just be like, oh, someone's asked me to do this and no one had ever had. But this time, someone actually has asked if I'm doing uh, like a what I got for Christmas. So um, I can finally live out my lifelong dream of saying someone asked me to do this. So I'm gonna show you what I got for Christmas. Um, I am bragging and I'm not grateful me when I lie. I just find them, I just find the intros to them videos so funny. But yeah, let me show you what I got. I got some money from grandparents and family friends, which will be going on tattoos. Clap if you're surprised. Yeah. Anyway, let me show y'all what I got. So, okay. So I only asked for a few things for Christmas, so I'll show you the things that I got, which I asked for. So I asked for this Build-A-Bear. Give me a fucking break. Because I've got the pink, the green, and the multicolored one. So I thought, Christmas one, festive frog. Are you taking the piss? Are you taking the P-I-double-S? Look how fucking cute this is. I love you. And then I also asked for this, which is a diary for 2023, because I'm actually going to try and use one. I just found it on the WH Smith, because I was looking at diaries and it's got some really like typical quotes but like actually a little bit meaningful and motivating um like um i just thought it was pretty so i asked for this and i got this from my mum and dad and the frog was from my mum and dad i asked for these found these on vintage so i asked for these and i kind of knew i was getting them because the moment i sent my mum the link to them uh, i got a notification saying your favorite item's been sold so i asked for these which are a new pair of doc martens i'm about six foot one in these because these are these have got a proper heel to them i'm fucking obsessed it is are you seeing that? That is just absolutely slayful and playful. They are brand new as well. So my mum got them on vintage, but they're brand new. So I need to wear them in because they're a bit like, you know, they're a bit like a musical instrument at the moment. Fucking elated with them. And then the last thing I asked for, also from my mum and dad, was a longchamp bag. They're quite classy. So I thought maybe this might inspire me to be a little bit less rancid, but I've always loved these. And I had a fake one in school in like year nine. And now I have a real one. I'm not in school, but I've got a bloody real one. This amazing cheers mum and dad for that absolutely bringing out the un inner sleigh uh they also got me give me a fucking break really the rider to we i have the smaller version of this and now i have this one which is fucking 67 centimeters fucking length on that sorry but yeah sleigh i also got little bits in my stocking so i got this amy winehouse like doorstop but my mum was like, you don't have to use it as a doorstop, you can just use it as decoration, which I absolutely will. Got some Olaplex, some Garnier, micellar water, a face mask, got some shower gel. Those are all in my stocking. And I also got this top, absolutely me coded. It's like a Banksy wrap. Give me a fucking break, that is so cool. And then, and then from my brothers, I got this, which I'm obsessed. This year, because I didn't ask for much, apart from what my parents got me, everything was a surprise. And 
this year was quite Amy Winehouse coded. So my brother's got me this wall art, which is so cool. And on the wall that has my on-air sign for my podcast, there's a poster of Amy Winehouse. So I think that might just have to be like a little wall shrine to her because I've got quite a lot of stuff to do with her. So I got that from my brother's, which is so cool. Um, so need to get need to get pops to put that up because there's no way I'll be able to do that. Then one of my grandparents got me this, a print of Amy Winehouse at bloody Camden Station. I'm just so easy in more ways than one. Love Camden, love Amy Winehouse, bloody perk. So I got that, so that will go up on the, the shrine wall. They also got me this. This. again so me coded it says a house is not a home without rats speak on it honestly and then from my nana i got this which is like a a wine bottle with a print of amy winehouse in it and some fairy lights give me a fucking break i'm loving this i'm loving the fact that everyone's just they got the memo they got the amy winehouse memo i also got this pillow spray from my mum and dad has my mum been watching the vlogs probably not she hates when i swear lol but i did say about how i love pillow spray and i've got some bloody more of it and then from my godmother she gave me money but she also got me this grow your own cactus set shush she got me this grow your own cactus set this makeup remover pad which you only need water for slay we all know how lazy i am uh slay all day ball 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 i mean bath bomb slay all day so me and loads of mini nutella because you just never know do you know what i mean i got some hair bits from my brother's girlfriend tia i got a scalp 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 scrub and styling treatment cream because we all can see it's a walk-in fucking eyesore how bloody cooked my hair is so these were very well received and very much appreciated. From Michael, Michael's my, oh my god, I can't even say it. Michael's my SO, he's my significant other. From his parents, I got a pair of urban joggers. That boy, he knows me. I love urban joggers. I, they're so expensive, don't get me wrong, but I do have like a lot of pairs of them because they're all I wear. And I really wanted this pair. So I was bloody elated with that. Very grateful, very thankful. Even though my voice doesn't convey it, it's because I'm very bad at showing positive emotions. From Michael, me and Michael, we absolutely slayed it this year. From Michael, I got this necklace with his initial, which also happens to be my initial. But there we go. This is from Rat Betty and I got him one and he got me one because I really liked it and he wants to be me. <gasps> joking so he got me that and then we both also got each other pants because he loves supreme boxes and i always wear his and then he cries because there's not enough in rotation because he doesn't like his asos boxes don't ask because i genuinely don't know but he got black ones and i got some white ones fucking handy dandy and then he got me a usb stick which has a software which makes it easier for me to download stuff onto my laptop without doing it illegally and catching like fucking covid for my laptop so he got me that which fucking hell this boy knows me I'm so lucky to have a smart boyfriend and a boyfriend that likes me, lol. Um, and then he got me a smart plug as well because in my in the corner of my room I've got a lamp and if you want to turn it off, you've got to turn it off at the plug that you have to take the plug out of the socket. And um, if he's here, there is no chance in hell that I'm getting up to do that. Mm -mm. So um, I think he bought this for his sake. But um, fucking well received because I am so, so criminally lazy. So that's per. He also got me, he got me some shoelaces because the laces on these shoes, which are absolutely vile, I need to clean them. They snapped because I've had them for four years and I've worn them so much. So he needed some new shoelaces. He got me some of them, which was fucking great. And then he got me a pair of joggers as well. These are from Pleasures. Um, this is what they look like. They're really fucking cool. They've got like, they've got like this really cool stitching embroidery on it. And on the back, he said they're a bit of a weird fit though, because they sit like quite closely on the ankles. So they're a bit shorter. But he was like, if you don't like them, I'll keep them and I'll get you something else. But I need to try them on and style them. Whatever the fuck that means. But yeah, I do really like them because they're fucking soft as well and they're thick. No, I like, I like a thick jogging bottom, do you know what I mean? And then he got me this, which I posted this on my Instagram story and everyone was like, oh my god, slay, I need this. And it was literally from Vinted, but look at this. Give me a fucking break. He loves Star Wars. I love looking at Hayden Christensen. Fucking Anakin Skywalker top. <sighs> I'm obsessed. And then, oh my god, I had a feeling he got me these and I sent them to him on TikTok before I saw him yesterday and he was like, too late for present ideas. And it was fucking, look at that. Um, it's the Stussy Converse. Fuck, sorry, I mean Stussy. When I say Stussy, he's always like, look, I don't want to correct you, but that's not how you pronounce it. It's that the Stussy Converse with the eight balls on them. Are you fucking joking? I love these. These are so nice. So yeah. 
that is everything I got for Christmas. I'm feeling hashtag blessed, hashtag spoilt, hashtag uh, too, uh, hashtag too blessed to be stressed, hashtag grateful, hashtag not bragging, hashtag slay, hashtag ratmus, hashtag happy holidays. Hello. This is basically me just rounding off this vlog you know wrapping it up but um i wanted to say quickly just wanted to you know put my two pence in i want to say how lucky i feel and how grateful i feel not just for ratmus and like all that's come from it but also just for the whole year this year was the year i started like posting properly again in what like april i think i started posting more this year and so much has changed because of it like my life has completely like transformed you know it's insane my life has changed so much this year and i'm so fucking grateful and you know so much has happened not just in terms of like youtube and tiktok and stuff but in my personal life but it doesn't even feel like two different things like it doesn't feel like what i show of my life online and what is happening like i'm always so like open about it because like what have i got to hide you know it's just it's just insane what's happened this year and like it's just <coughs> essentially i'm just trying to say thank you because i can't even like begin to describe how much all of this means to me obviously like this year we had vlog 50 we had vlog 100 and now we've had ratmus and like loads of like monumental things have happened for me and in all of them i say how grateful i am but genuinely like from the bottom of my heart i could not be more grateful and more thankful if i like possibly tried because it's just insane and like all the messages i get just genuinely make my day like someone messaged me saying ratmus made my christmas this year or my boyfriend thought you had millions of subscribers or it blows my mind that you're such a small like creator or like people being like you deserve so much and it's like like i genuinely don't know how to convey in a message how happy and how thankful i am for that because people's nice comments genuinely keep me going when i'm feeling lazy and someone says i'm looking forward to the vlog tonight it motivates me to edit when i'm feeling like i don't want to do anything i don't want to post anything and someone says your videos really help me it makes me want to post like as much as i might do for other people you're doing so much for me as well and I genuinely couldn't, oh my god, I can't even describe it, like, I can't even tell you how much this means to me, because there aren't, there aren't enough words in the English language to describe what this means, and I don't know, I have a, I have a weird feeling about next year, I think, I don't know, I, next year is gonna be my year, it's gonna be, it's gonna be our year, it's gonna be the year of the fucking rat, it's the year of the rabbit, but that's still a rodent, isn't it, same same cuddle of fish but yeah i have a I have a good feeling about next year um but 2022 has been insane it's had its ups and downs like every year does you know mentally i've been all over the place but this has just blossomed so much and changed my life from me do starting to do well on tiktok in january to now so much has changed like being able to do promotion videos for brands that i really like and like being able to make stickers for my podcast fucking bringing on my podcast like so much has happened and also like being able to do ratmus something that i wanted to do so much being able to do it and for people to receive it and enjoy it i just i just can't say thank you enough i love it I love it, I just, I love it, and I love you, and I love this channel, and I love everything that we have, like, this little rat pack, I love it, it just, ah, oh, I'm so bad with words, that's why I'm so good at gift giving, because I'm so, so shit at words, and I'm so shit at being sincere, but genuinely from the bottom of my heart thank you i hope 2023 is as beast as 2022 was and we continue to grow together um and i'll never forget this year it's just been absolutely insane and i'm so fucking grateful um but yeah here is to 2022 no fucking here's to 2023 merry fucking christmas it's boxing day now but merry christmas thank you all so much for supporting me throughout ratmus and all the lovely messages and comments and everything never goes unnoticed and genuinely you have changed my life and i could not be more fucking grateful if i tried but yeah there'll still be a few more vlogs before 2023 and i haven't done a podcast in the past couple weeks but i have a podcast coming out this sunday um which will be about new year changing resolutions anxiety about the new year because for me my anxiety is quite high at christmas and new year because i'm not good with change but i'll i'll speak on that more in the podcast so yeah if you haven't seen my podcast it's on spotify and youtube and i always link it as well as like my twitter my instagram my tiktok everything but yeah thank you so much for everything um i hope you all had a fucking great christmas and if you didn't that's okay it's just another day and it's done now for another year um well yeah i hope you slay and also remember it doesn't have to be Christmas to slay. I'm a fucking living proof of that. But yeah, thank you. And I will see you in the next vlog. And fucking Merry Ratmus. Same time next year. Bye. <laughs>